electoral votes that are part of this compact, we will implement this, this rule. And now uh, they haven't gotten to that 270 yet, so it's not gone into effect. But the cool thing about it is, every time the devil tries to fight against God, God turns that around to his advantage. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, it's happened over and over again. You know, they tried to kill Moses, you know, by put, uh, drowning all the Israelites, and that led to him becoming a leader, you know, and freeing the slaves. <clears throat> so, the interesting thing about it is, if you look at the map of the 17 states who have joined this coalition, this confederacy, all 17 of those states voted for Kamala Harris this time around. All right, Anthony Bentley has been on the program and I do not have my teeth because uh, it is, I, I'm using temporary dentures until February and then I get the implants, but right now I got to use denture cream. Oh, yummy, lovely. Yummy, yummy denture cream. You ever had that in your mouth when you eat? No. So, yeah, don't. So I got a Popeye's chicken sandwich, which is one of the best chicken, you can't see because of the light. Yummy. Best chicken sandwich is better than uh, Chick-fil-A. And, uh. Anyway, uh, I'll probably be eating that, but excuse me, brothers and sisters, but to make a long story short, Anthony Bentley, Bent, Bentley, Anthony Bentley, like the car. Yes. I just got me a 96 Buick. Awesome. I think they're called the New Yorker. I don't know. Anyway, take it away. We're going to talk about something very interesting, right? You go. Yes. Well, happy election today. Yes. Uh, I'm I, happy. I, our country. I said to Andrea, our country's not mourning right now. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. I had two great presents. I, I just received my 12th grandbaby and we're getting a new president. So it's yeah. a very happy day. But there's something very interesting about this election that and I can't find anybody talking about it. So I thought I would mention it. You see, <clears throat> for many years, the Democrats have been trying to replace the Electoral College. They hate the Electoral College because it gives small states an advantage. You know, when the founders of the Constitution were, were trying to set up our, our government, the small states were worried that New York was, would dominate the Union because they had the biggest population. <clears throat> and But New York was saying, well, we got the biggest population. We should have more representation. So they, they set up a compromise. They said in the Senate, every state will have two votes for each state, regardless of how many people, how, how big their population is. But the House of Representatives will be based on the population. So it was a compromise between the big states and the small states. And then the Electoral College is based on the, our representation. So small states like New Mexico, where I live, and, you know, the Midwestern states, essentially our vote counts twice as much as the people in the big states like California. You know, sorry, brother, but uh, that's the fact. And so the Democrats hate that. They've been trying to destroy the Electoral College and replace it with just one man, one vote kind of thing. And they thought that that would cement their power because it's been a quarter century since a Republican president has won the majority vote. But yesterday, Trump won the, the popular vote. Not only the electoral college, but the popular vote. <clears throat> so in an effort to try and circumvent the electoral college, <clears throat> there was a conspiracy of, well, a confederacy of 17 Democrat-controlled states who, who decided we want to change our process. Now, see, the Constitution doesn't specify how each state decides their electors. It's up to the state legislatures to right. decide. And in the majority of the states, uh, whoever wins the popular election in that state wins all of the electoral votes, except for Nebraska and uh, Maine. They do it differently. Everybody else, winner takes all. But these 17 Democrat controlled states said, we are not going to base, we are not going to give our electors based on our people's vote. We're going to go by the national popular vote. So whoever wins the national popular vote, we're going to give all of our votes to them. And this will circumvent the Electoral College. Right. 
<clears throat> so it hasn't gone into effect yet because they said once we get a majority of the electoral, once we get to 270 electoral votes that are part of this compact, we will implement this, this rule. And now uh, they haven't gotten to that 270 yet, so it's not gone into effect. But the cool thing about it is every time the devil tries to fight against God, God turns that around to his advantage. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, it's happened over and over again. You know, they tried to kill Moses, you know, by put, uh, drowning all the Israelites. And that led to him becoming a leader, you know, and freeing the slaves. Right. <clears throat> so the interesting thing about it is if you look at the map of the 17 states who have joined this coalition, this confederacy, all 17 of those states voted for Kamala Harris this time around. Before I forget, brothers and sisters, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ding the bell for notifications. Your support means the world to me and helps the channel grow. And hey, if you want to contribute to the program, I do prefer Venmo first, then Cash App, then PayPal, then Zelle. And I've got cool products. I got cool merch. That's all being designed. I get a percentage of it. And that's if you're interested. Remember, your comments are what keep this community thriving, so drop your thoughts below. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider becoming a YouTube member or sending a thanks, a super thanks right there, the button's right below the screen during our videos. Uh, now back to the topic. So in this map, it shows the states that have joined the, the Confederacy, and they're marked in green, and the yellow states are pending. <clears throat> so... There are 17 states, and as soon as they get to, right, they're not yet to 270, but once they do, they're going to implement this rule. Now, if you look at the other map that I sent you, okay, it shows the election results so far. They're the same. Oh, the yeah. Same states. Yeah. The only difference <laughs> is New Hampshire. Okay. <laughs> so it, the, this is what they did to try and circumvent the Electoral College. But if it had been in effect... Trump would have got 49 out of 50 states. Right. <laughs> you know, it's just. But then they would have like said, well, yo, we're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. No. It's just, <laughs> no, no weapon formed against God will prevail. No. You know, and I'm not saying Trump is, you know, the godliest well, man. No, but what you're saying is Satan is dumb. Why yeah. is he dumb? He's supposed to be wise. He's lived on the earth for how many? <laughs> he was next well, to Christ. Yeah. And he still is denser than we are. In other words, he might be, he, he might have knowledge, but he doesn't have wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's, it's just a miracle, you know? Uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm not saying Trump is a, is a very godly man, but I think God uses uh, flawed individuals to Absolutely. work his purposes. And when, you, and when we're, when I say we're not in mourning, it's going to take us some time to get out of that. And, and what's sad is Trump can't run for another term, can he? No, he can't. But, you know, his vice presidential pick, I like him even better than Trump. He is much better at debating. You know, if you watch that, and when he goes on the hostile news, uh, on the news programs that are hostile to him, he is just unbelievably good at answering their questions. Oh, yeah. And so... You know, we've got three more terms of uh, of awesomeness to try and save our country. You know, it's and I don't know if you watched that fireside. It was a, a fireside uh, for Latter Day Saints, and Trump came on it and he said the Constitution is hanging by a thread. Thread. He was quoting Joseph Smith and Brigham Wait, Young. When did Trump came on a Latter Day Saint podcast? It was a virtual uh, fireside. Okay, they had they had. Uh, Mike Lee, they had um, uh, Donald Trump and a few other people on this virtual fireside. And Trump quoted Brigham Young, uh, Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, John Taylor, um, uh, <clears throat> David O. McKay, and uh, several other prophets where they prophesied that the Constitution would hang by a thread wow. and it would be saved by the elders of the church. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> and so, you know, there's there's plenty of things to not like about Trump, but, but God yeah. is flawed individuals to, to work his. Purpose. I like how the Jews made him equivalent to like, uh, Cyrus, you know, yeah, Cyrus they, 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 was a wicked, when I say wicked, wicked is relative. Sure. He was, 
I don't know Trump, though. I mean, who am I to call him, say, you know, I noticed you keep saying he may not be the best guy. He might not be any different than me or yeah. you. Okay, I don't well, know his sins, I, and I don't care to. But I understand what you're saying. But you're only saying that because the media has... All, we could say that about all the presidents. Right. We could say that about all the presidents. Yes. And what you're saying is you're not fanboying over him and you're not saying that he's some, you're not putting him on a pedestal. Right. But we are not in mourning right now. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. I, I think this man is going to do the best he can. He's older. He's 78 years old. In two more years, he's going to be 80. Yeah. But. Like you said, the vice president, let me ask you something. You had, you sent me something else this morning with the red arrows. Do you have an yes. image of that? Yes. Okay. Let me get that. Let's see. Okay. So this is a map that I got from the Benny show. I'm trying to remember his last name. Uh, but I anyway, know, I know who you're talking about. I yeah. was watching him last night when he got really excited. Oh about, yeah. Yeah. So this map shows the trend, and, you know, the in the each county of each state where they changed, and the arrows indicate the red arrows indicate a shift to the right, the left arrows indicate a shift to the left. Okay, and you can see the whole country basically is moving to the right. Now, uh, but California, the West Coast didn't change. Apparently, Arizona didn't change either, or maybe they didn't have the results yet. But the point is, you know, it was very depressing four years ago when, uh, when, when Biden won the election. Anyway, it was very depressing four years ago when Biden won the election. Well, you know, when he won the election, I think there was massive cheating involved. Uh, I hope that's not something that has to be censored. But anyway. No, it's uh, not going to be censored. It was, it was very depressing. But there again, God used a bad thing to accomplish a good, a great good. He, I, he allowed Biden to be the president to show us just how bad things could be if the communists take control. <clears throat> now, you know, Biden's not technically a communist, but the things that he does are espoused by the Communist Party. And anyway, after four years of seeing how bad it could be, the whole country is shifting to the right. I mean, even, you know, the the... The blue states, the the East Coast states that are so so blue, yeah. are shifting to the right. Even though Trump didn't win those states, he he got a lot closer to winning them than anyone has before. Well, the mindless, the mindless are the blues going that way. They're yeah. they're not even people. I mean, they're people, but they're <laughs> they're they're sheeple, and yeah. and they don't know the the policies. They don't know the the. The, what are the topics discussed? They don't know anything. They watch, right. they, they watch their popular podcaster that's on the left, tell them how, and that podcaster is watching the, 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 the lamestream media. Yes. And the lamestream media is brainwashing these people. So you've got mindless blue haired, pink haired, some of them are LG plus. Some of them are just people that don't care about the truth. They just, I'm voting Democrat. Some of them are Furbies. Yeah. But some you know, it's like uh, you pointed out, Brigham Young said, every time you kick Mormonism, you kick it, you, you kick it upstairs. You never kick it down story. Right. The Lord almighty. So orders it. And you could it, just say that about righteousness in general. Yeah. Or about America. If you kick right. America, you, you kick it upstairs. And uh, Joseph right. Smith said a similar thing that no unhallowed hand can, uh, can thwart the progress of God. And, you know, God works not just within the church. He's working on the United States. He works in the other churches. He works with anybody who's willing to listen to inspiration from God. So these quotes, although they're Latter-day Saint prophets, it applies more than just yep. us. Thank yeah. you so much for being here, Anthony. You're a good man. It was good to see you at the firm conference, too. Thank you. Yeah, that was a fun conference. All right. God bless you. You too. Bye bye. He was a good man, good man. Wandering lonely in the day.
desert He invited me to stay Said I would learn to love the space 